Hey everyone, I'm Lamont Gilchrist. Uh, LGFitnessMessiah.com is my webpage. Uh, Lamont Gilchrist Natty, Lamont Gilchrist Natural Pro Bodybuilder on uh, YouTube. Subscribe to my page. Um, uh, LG uh, uh, Fitness Messiah on Instagram, I'm Lamont Gilchrist. Um, today is Thursday, and like I said, I'm trying a different format, so I like to try to bring information in. Um, so that people could have that knowledge for themselves to uh, empower themselves um, to improve themselves. Um, when you don't have jealousy or strife or envy or any of those particular characteristics um, about you, then you don't have any... Um, hate or animosity or ill will or ill feelings about people um, accelerated success or uh, enlightenment or knowledge um, because um, it's here for us all to share and you can actually be happy uh, for people that you may not or you may interact with to be prosperous and to do well because they have to live their life. You know, a knowledgeable person understands that. Everything that looks a particular way isn't always a particular way. So, to stay on task, <clears throat> I got a uh, couple little things today that I want to touch on. Um, first thing is about um, exercising for um, aging people or older people and the way that we split things up. Um, exercising shouldn't necessarily be the same as the body is aging for everyone. The type of training styles, um, the type of uh, rep range or regimens or how you go into a muscle or compound movements and stuff like that um, should be slightly adjusted, you know, depending on someone's, you know, a lot of other factors, but uh, age should be a, 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 a big factor too. Just because of recovery and the type of trauma that is caused by different types of exercises from overload to uh, aerobic to anaerobic to jumping to multi-joint movements to... Um, so there's a whole bunch of different principles and people need different times of recovery, rest in between sets and um, regimens to actually accelerate and not cause damage as I explained before about there's a fine line between tearing yourself up and accelerating and improving your quality of life. Um, so I just want to make that very clear, and I do, um, I'll probably be posting some more information later on, um, and these, um, explanations and stuff about, you know, my ideology and philosophy and where the research has taken me as far as, like, as you age and what, what age group is the best type of training styles and, um, all these particular things, and it, and it varies, it kind of varies on your body and other things and stuff of that particular nature. Now, I'm going to ask you a question, and uh, most of you probably won't be able to answer it, um, but why are you going off of the food pyramid? First of all, why is it a pyramid? And that's it's for you people out there, y'all, some of y'all get that, but you got to understand what things represent um, in this existence. Um, and then second... Why are you following the daily recommended amount of vitamins and doses of vitamins and particular things that you put into your body, like niacin, which is not a vitamin, it's a byproduct of nicotine, uh, when through the million years of evolutionary um, existence, uh, some of these things is not warranted to a certain group of people as it is to other groups of people. And if they develop it, who did they develop it for? Uh, be it that the last couple hundred years, you're just considered a human, so they weren't doing researches for non-humans. Um, just to be real with you about these things uh, as we're talking about um, specific issues and actually really getting healthy, you know what I'm saying? The only thing that, 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 that surpasses to me uh, science, religion, and all these other things is just reality, truth. You know, truth is the ultimate, um, the ultimate ending point of any intellectual's um, journey if they really want to come to a, a final destination. So, um, uh, 
when you take these things into consideration and you ponder these particular things, and then they say, well, the percent body fat or the body mass index scale is for who? Um, these calculations of formulas of burning calories, calories in, calories out, uh, how many calories you should have per day is calculated for who? You know, when you start asking who and why and stuff like that, people start uh, 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 when they don't have this information. And if you're a trainer and if you don't do the research and if you're not truly, you know, you have to be a detective in my field of study um, as far as nutrition and things and stuff like that. And I love the um, bodybuilders and the other people that I interact with uh, in this field because they're crazy. They'll do anything to their body. They'll put anything inside of their body to see what happens. And they are so interested in the vanity part of it. I tell my clients, I tell people that I do interviews, I'm kind of getting off the subject, but I'm going to tell them. There's a couple of things that I do love training about people. I love training vanity. Because vanity will do just about anything you want um, just to get the end results, you know. Um, I love training go-getters, tired self-motivators because most of the times I have to pull them back um, because they work so hard. So I don't have to push them. I don't have to worry about what they're doing when I'm not around or when they're on their own because self-motivators will always get up and go, you know, do what they got to do. Uh, I ask you these questions because... Um, on a cellular level, uh, the most research money is spent on, now listen to this, red blood cells on a cellular level, the next is neurotransmitter function, brain waves function, which we all we have red blood, makes us in common, even though there's different blood types. Um, neurotransmitters is what gives us the signals, our um, ability to react and respond and be alert and all these other things. And then the next thing is melanin. Now, if you don't understand the importance of melanin, which is, that is the main point of creation uh, for intellectual thought, intellectual process, and the brain is development from the beginning to as it evolves and spread out per square inch on your body, if you are fortunate enough to be of the dark pigmentation, there is a perception and a sensory and another um, um, circulatory system runs to it. It is an external brain that is judging against your environment, against the elements of the world because it exists um, uh, at the point of creation. Why is these things important? Because the amount of melanin that anyone has in their body separates them from someone else. And for someone's um, perception or taste or extrasensory or ability to do something or creative thought process, um, lacking of that will limit your interpretation of the exterior or the universe, or the world around you. I'm not making this up. These are Harvard. They have a research lab in Harvard that just study this stuff. This is, like I said, this is where the most money spent. You don't see this on commercials. You don't see this um, in, in magazines and stuff like that because of the importance of getting that information out to the masses is not important to certain sectors of the society. Um, and then, on a physical level, um, different drugs attach more, so it's harder to break addictions. Um, different vitamins that you take. Uh, somebody who has melanin as dark as me, you don't need to drink to take vitamin D. You don't need to be drinking dairy or other animal byproducts. Or stuff like that. That actually clogs up your melanin. That actually clogs up your digestive system. That is actually counterproductive. It actually start um, uh, pulling more calcium, more even like even when niacin, it starts pulling more calcium from um, your body into your muscles, and that's where you get those little knots and tumors and stuff like that because you basically is overdeen uh, in an absorption of calcium. 
Um, if you don't understand these things, um, you don't understand who you are, um, then you don't understand it. I mean, I'm, it, this is not to, you know, to be vindictive or even to be, um, uh, putting people or putting things on blast. You know, I go past that because when I'm talking about truth, the only thing that matters is the truth. You know, when I'm talking about realities, when I'm talking about solutions to problems, I'm getting to the solution to the problem. I'm not, I'm not caught up in what people's emotions is and what people think and people's ideologies about these emotions is and their feelings and their reactions to them. I mean, at the end of the day, for me, it's either peace or it's either war. You know, I'm all about peace. I'm all about peace on every level. And then I'm all about war, too. That's why I train the way that I train. That's what I do what I do because I'm not fearful of anything but, you know, my creator. And whatever happened is, is destined by him, so let it be what it's going to be. But in reality, you're searching for truth and getting out truth, and you're trying to heal and enlighten other people. We need to be able to step over these sensitive social issues and things. Because, I mean, no matter whatever it is that's said or no matter whatever it is that's the end result, the reality of it is, is that a sector of society and a sector of People that look like me is being misinformed, miseducated, and don't even understand who they are and how they body operate. So, you know, you only have a couple of choices. I can, if I was rich, I can have scientists do the research, or you have to go get the information yourself, and you have to go research it, or you have to go get a professional that cares about those issues, that cares about real truth, that cares about um, the, the betterment of everyone, and, and, and let it be what it is, you know, and... and and take that information and however it comes out, that's how you got to deal with it. There's a lot of repercussions from things that happened from the past, from everyone's past. But you can't dwell on them, especially if you're trying to go forward. And I'm trying to move forward in the situation, so that's why I bring up these issues. Um, for you black women, especially dark skin, melon actually bonds to fat a little bit more efficiently. So it's bad for you. And so you say, oh, well, I'm going to tell you uh, why it does that. Because you were born on the equator. Because of your environment was conducive to, uh, to bringing in and reflection and taking in the radio waves from the equator, from the suns, all the different ultraviolet rays of light and stuff, transforming that into vitamin D so calcium uh, can be absorbed. Um, so that your bone and your development would malnourish you and you are efficient. You was evolved that way to the people that weren't born on the equator, the people that are not there. That's why you have to take in vitamin D. That's why after millions of years of drinking animal abstracts or milk or milk from other animals uh, and stuff like that, you develop the ability to absorb that stuff, utilize that stuff, and it really don't affect you like that. And you have to get that because you cannot get or produce vitamin D from the sun. Now, that ain't knocking nobody. That's evolution. That's science. That's whatever you want to call it. It's just the reality of it. But when we set up these food and drug administrations, and when we set up these vitamins and these measuring tools that we use, and these uh, 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 healthcare system points that when you go to doctors or when you're talking to your professionals or people who are supposed to be caring about you, uh, that's, this is what you get you get the research that was not intended for you. You get the answers that was not intended for you and you get grouped into a group that you know you have different issues and different needs and different understandings and enlightenments that you have to have on these particular subjects for your wholeness and your existence. That's why smoking is bad for people with melanin, dark melanin, because it bonds on it. That's why addiction is, is, is more rampant. Um, um, because of the, the formation of it is basically the same formation of certain opiates. Um, I'm just following PhDs, research scientists, looking at the, the work. I'm just following the paper trail. I'm following the journals. I'm following the money trail. If you follow the money trail, they'll tell you what, what the importance of stuff is, you know. Uh, but because that's what's important to certain groups or sectors of society. But if you're not aware of these things, then you will be suffering in eternal, internally and externally because your extra peripheral brain, because you have two brains, the darker you are, um, is not functioning 
to capacity. Lights affected. That's why kids are, is, is being affected in schools and, and other issues. So I could go on and on and on and on with the research that I do um, about being efficient as a human being. But I don't want to drag it out and seem like I'm harping or that I'm actually criticizing. I'm just trying to give some information so that people can better their conditions no matter who they are. So if you know that you can't do that, then you know you need to take in more vitamin D and all this other stuff. But that's why you shouldn't be eating all that dairy, <clears throat> excuse me, and that's why you shouldn't be eating all that cheese, and that's why you get constipated, and when, you're, when your digestive system isn't working efficiently, then your absorption, and then your circulatory system, and then all the other systems are mal malfunctioning. Um, that's just the reality of how things work. If you were taking, if you were driving your car and your fuel line was clogged up, will fuel get into your uh, car efficiently? Will your engine run efficiently? If your oil was clogged up, if your radiator was busted, would your car overheat when certain things happen? So understand who you are, where you come from, and what is important to you. And all the research that should be afforded to you is out there. And they're doing the research because people like to try to figure out what the truth is. So they can manipulate it either or way for the good of what the whole or for it to make uh, profitable gains or to seem more enlightened or more intelligent from this knowledge that was already given and already explored and people already knew because they were making star formations um, in these tribes with no shoes um, that the human eye couldn't see. And that they couldn't by no way physically view these things because of the illumination of the rays that was coming from them. They made them perfectly on their huts and garments and things and everything else. And then it took thousands of years until the development of the Hubble telescope and other things and stuff like that to actually confirm, which they didn't have to confirm, but to actually go out there and people who didn't have that ability to absorb that energy got the opportunity to physically see it with their eye. Because once again, eye color is 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 key in the perception or the ability to see or to illuminate every specter of color um, through the sun rays and protections of absorbent energy and the and the window to the soul. So I ain't go hard or, or go on about this stuff um, in too many levels, I'm just talking about some issues that if you're not understanding and you're not doing the research or you're not with a nutritionalist or you're not with someone that is very interested in your needs and finding out what it is, the best routes and the best ways um, for you to be healthy and not be dependent on these um, pharmaceutical companies and um, other situations that's going on. And in systems that were actually not set up for you, um, then you better open your eyes and understand that in a lot of cases, one man's medicine is the next man's poison. And that's just reality. I'm just keeping it real because everyone isn't created equal. And that's just a reality too. Now you can feel equally superior or inferior based on your own interpretation of yourself or the knowing of who you are but once again, that's just your interpretation. That doesn't, you know, it plays a big part in the way that you view the world. But it really doesn't play a part in the way that others view you because if they want to view you negative, you don't care how much good you do, they're going to view you negative. If they want to view you positive, I don't care how much bad you do, they're going to view you positive. And that may not or may re reflect who you really are. So uh, I just wanted to bring those things uh, to point. Um, no other people, let me go back and flip back on the subject, you know, I started getting passionate about stuff. When you are exercising, start off with range of motion. Start back with getting your mobility. Start with making sure that you're getting the macro and micronutrition that you need um, to, uh, to keep your body in a harmonious state. Um... Range of motion is one of the number one things that older aging is a suffering byproduct of lack of macro and micronutrition and just flexibility and mobility. That is youthfulness. Um, that's why when you, older people who don't have range of motion slip and fall, they break and tear and rip and, and it's very hard for those things to recover. Not only is it hard for them to recover because they don't have 
They have mileage on their circulatory system. They don't have the macro and micronutrition to repair those things. But then it's usually a downward spiral of things. And that's why, you know, a lot of people all break their hip and they be dead within the next few years um, and stuff of that particular nature. So always start with range of motion so that, you know, and even for you athletes, so that, especially football players, uh, explosive athletes, so that when you get into these compromised positions, um, this isn't the first time that your body has been in these compromised positions and um, things aren't ripping and tearing. And, and I mean, the nature of sports is, is, is violent in itself or being a warrior because that's what it evolved from, from, you know, fighting the Coliseums and, and the Olympics and all these other particular things and um, 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 developing hunting and, and, and life survival skills. Um, and that's why it's paid so much because it's such great entertainment because not everyone can do it at a high level. Uh, but um, uh, when you have these range of motions and you, <clears throat> excuse me, place your body in these similar ranges of motions and you challenge yourself outside the arena of your playing scope or your playing field, um, then your body has a better response and your body won't get so rigid and so tight and be so um, hard. You know, sports is about being hard, being soft and fluidity at the right moments of time. If you ever see Michael Jordan or somebody do a shake, come down, go to the hole, get real powerful and boom, almost tear down the rim. That's about going from hard to explosive to soft. You know, and once you understand the dynamics of competing and understanding how to change your body and put your body through all these different ranges, then you can truly master what people say is your chi, your energy, your core, and all of these particular things. So working the range of motion, because uh, that will help your overall energy, flexibility, and the ability to be explosive and to recover. Um, my name is Lamont Gilchrist. I hope this information helps. Peace.